Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FCS Esports. We have a Rocket League match, the play versus match of the week between the FCS Stars and the Westland Hialeah Crimson Cats in week six of the spring 2022 season. Our format for today's match, same as it's been all season, will be a best of five set, three versus three, five minutes, golden goal overtime, and substitutions will be allowed between matches. FCS's roster consists of Austin, Razor O'Connor, Daniel Sharkvolts Calderon, Joel Pilot Canino, Alex Raven Del Cueto, Michael Ravello, and Ryan Quesada. And their coach is yours truly, Jeffrey Sunseeker Swindoll. Our opponents today, Westland Hialeah Senior High School Crimson Cats feature Jair Rodriguez, William Villarino, Rolando Quintanilla, Freddie Duran, Ingrid Arias, and their coach, Steven Rodriguez. And here we go. The play versus match of the week is underway. The Stars are in the blue. The Crimson Cats are in the red. Uh, both of these teams are three and one on the season. Looking to bounce back from a loss here, and Ryan. Fresh into the game, 20 seconds in. We'll get the opening goal. Set up by a backwards pass from Shark Volts there. Hitting it to the back post, and he's done it! FCS are out to a 2-0 lead early in this game. The Stars take a commanding lead in game one. Folks, it is worth noting that this is the first match that will feature the prodigy for FCS, Daniel Calderon, that's Shark Bolts, who recently became play versus eligible. We had to wait all of spring break to see him get his first playing time. Razor coming through. Got hit at midfield there. Now Ryan hitting it towards center. Cleared out by the Crimson Cats. FCS is trying to get past the midfield line, struggling to do it though. This ball's on goal. And Razor was coming over to save it. But couldn't get there in time. Boopy doofy. <laughs> Ball's headed toward goal. Doopy Doopy now coming up the left side. Sit down by Ryan at midfield. And the Crimson Cats come back again. Balls hits towards the middle here. Razor jumps up for the block, and the Crimson Cats will equalize there. After going down 2-0 in the first minute of play, their pressure has been relentless since then. Have to cross it over. Shark Bolt hits it to the right corner. When he's driving upfield, switches from wall to center field, sets up Booby Doopy. Got a pinch off the wall to center at near post. 
Oh, Razor with a chance here. Oh, hits it a bit high. Let's see if the follow-up is there from Sharkbolt. He chips it up a bit. Raccoon. Oh, he flew just under it. Now Razor. He's gonna hit it above the goal. Black Naru hits it back. Now Sharkbolt with the rebound. I think both teams really struggled to have a decisive hit there. And Sharkbolt was the one to make the final hit. Puts FCS in the lead. Just over the halfway mark of this game. Twinny. Dribbling upfield tends to be the player that does prefer dribbling here. Looking for this double tap. But Sharkbolt's met him high above the goal to interrupt it. Oh no, this is gonna be back towards goal. Razor was on the spot there. We will make up for Ryan's backwards hit. FCS still not out of the woods yet. Sharkbolt's in good position to block Winnie's shot, which was on goal there. This one's on goal as well, Boopy Doopy will equalize. And uh, credit to the Crimson Cats. They've done a good job of staying in this match. After going down by a few goals here. Oh, the switch up there from uh, Ryan. I think mixed up the positioning there of the goalies. And we're on duty on that play. Ryan trying to through ball it to Razor. Ryan called on again. Hits it off of the wall, set up right. Black Narud got a bit too underneath it though. Quinny trying to redirect it. Oh, FCS bailed out there. Here comes Quinny. Does a good job of giving himself dribbling position. Got that one a little bit past him. Does get a demolition though. And Ryan drives around it. Couple, couple key whiffs here from FCS. That uh, making this a bit of a nervy ending for them. Here's Shark Bolts trying to finish this off. Hits it high above the goal. Then Razor. Oh, hits it just wide of the left post. Black Naru. Thing wants to pinch it. Blank Nuru, excuse me. <laughs> Say that wrong this entire time. Here comes Ryan. Good challenge there. Hard hit off the wall. Now Razor! Razor did pick up full boost there. Shark Bolts just hits it up. As At this point, I think it's just a matter of survival for FCS. Unless Razor can cause some damage here. And if not, we'll go into Golden Goal overtime once this ball touches the ground. Shark Bolts trying to end up. And it, it does! Shark Bolts' first game with the Stars ends with a buzzer beater. And the Stars will take game one in dramatic fashion. Wow. <laughs> you can see uh, Shark Fultz, his excitement in the chat there, saying, let's go. Even Quinny acknowledging that it was, it was an intense game. And uh, that much is obvious. So we're waiting for Michael to ready up here. Game two is underway. Oh, Razor struggling to deal with that one, and Blank will uh, take advantage. 
really difficult technique. Razor having to drive toward his own goal. Just tried to tip it above the bar, but it was a little too close to his net. And uh, instead of FCS taking an early 2-0 lead as they did in game one, now they're down one goal. Just five seconds into this game, too. Sharkfolds down the right flank. Winnie taking back pose as Boopy Doopy hits it up above. Razor redirects it to Sharkfolds. Oh, what a good team play from them. Oh, they bump into each other, though. Opposite of a good team play on that second attempt. Ryan there hits it at midfield. Sharkfolds got in the way of Quinny, but Quinny does get the demolition, and it's an open net for Blank. who has uh, reversed the fortunes of that first game between these two teams as FCS took a 2-0 lead in game one. Now the Crimson Cats have come back and taken a 2-0 lead for this game too. Within the first minute of play. That bounce off the corner from Ryan. Shark Volt's coming in. Oh, Razor got in the way there. Might have been a call out uh, error or miscommunication there. Razor hits it towards center. Shark bolts in no man's land. Gets demolished. Oh, that block there from I think it was either Ryan or Razor was so important. Shark bolts now. Puts it to the right. Good defense from Quinny. Here comes Blank. Looking for the hat trick. Hit it a bit wide though. Now Quinny centers it. Boopy doopy. Both he and Razor whip on that attempt. Now Ryan coming downfield. Got stuck in air though. Uh, I think scuffed the, scuffed the double jump a little bit there. Razor did some weird flip. It was at least some kind of change up. Razor still on the ball. Dribbling all across the field. Uh oh, pass it backwards though. Sharkfolds comes in. It's tipped up by Quinny. Stays in the corner. Razor gets around it. Now Boopy Doopy leading the attack. Actually drove underneath it. Now Quinny. Razor a little off there on his clearance. He'll rotate back to goal as Ryan gets a boomer clearance into the corner. Sharkvolt looking for that tap. Another demolition from him. Or on him, excuse me. Sharkvolt now. Good thing he was spawned back there. He was in perfect position for that defensive stop. Otherwise, it would have been an easy goal for the Crimson Cats. FCS are still down 2-0, though. Two minutes left. And they're going to have to do some scoring, not just defensive plays here. Shark Falls looking for that hit again. Now it's Razor. And he minuses the lead to one goal advantage for the Crimson Cats. And uh, I certainly hope there was some communication there. Looked like there was. Good understanding between Ryan and Razor of who is in the better position to get that goal. Razor chips this one. It's far above the goal. Then Razor tried to go at back post. Here's Boopy Doopy. This is a great ball. Headed toward goal. Ryan meets it in the air. Now Quinny in the corner, taking his time. Redirects it down towards the goal box. Sharkholz clears it out. Boopy Doopy puts it back on goal. Well, Razor and Shark are there. Shark with the follow-up. Clears it out after Ryan's touch. Oh, Razor flies it. Flew into it, but missed it. Ryan's got to come up here. Actually, Blank hits it into the corner. So FCS will reset. It's down the right flank. Booby Doopy with a soft touch in the middle. He's met there at midfield by Ryan. Now Shark folds, jumping up for it. Clears his man. He's down the right flank. One more touch. Pass blank. Missed his chance, though. FCS just inches away from getting some of these chances or these opportunities to go. Shark bolts on an open net. Poopy Doopy was just there, just in time. Quinny now clears it. Poopy Doopy with the redirection.
We're in the final minute of play. 40 seconds left. FCS are gonna have to come up with something to at least force overtime. Oh no, Boopy is chasing it. Razor misses a wide open chance off of the right post. And if you're a Stars fan, you certainly hope that's not the last chance that FCS will have in this game too. Shark Voltier at the near post, it's equalized. And in the clutch moments, Shark Volt is coming up big, assisted there by Ryan. And we're all tied with 20 seconds left. CS have been chasing a 2-0 scoreline since the first minute of this game, too. But they end up winning this with three goals unanswered and send themselves a match point. Sharkbolt has a chance here to be the hero again. Misses that one. Then it's Ryan. Is it in? Oh, it hits the ground. Sharkbolt's gonna knock it back in, but we're in overtime. It's golden goal stuff. An intense set between these two teams. Here's Quinny. Oh no, it hits the roof. Unfortunate touch there for FCS. FCS is trying to clear their lines. It looks like they've done it for the time being. Razor coming in. He's blocked there by Quinny. His shot was well aimed, but Quinny's defense was there. Ryan with a good pass across the middle. Here's Razor in the corner. Crosses it back. Ryan, it's it in! And MTS wins game two in overtime! The Stars are on match point from this great team play from the Stars. FCS looking to move to three, uh, four and one, excuse me, and send these Crimson Cats with the same record to three and two. And if you're a Stars fan, if you've been seeing our scrimmages or practices that we stream, uh, you've seen you've seen what Sharkfolds can do, but uh, we've not seen him in regular competitive season play until now. And uh, the hype was definitely real. Sharkbolt's there with a good redirection right at the start of the game. And Ryan will take the lead 1-0, as he did in game one. Mere seconds into the game. Again, good understanding from Ryan and Sharkbolt's down there. Did not get in each other's way. Yes, showing some grit and some clutch in this set. There's Razor, jumps up for it, sends it back toward goal when he had a touch that looked like it might have been going in his own goal. But it's still just 1-0. All three of FCS's players going up for that one. And then Quinny with the follow-up. As FCS were not in optimal positioning. Shark Bolt here. Hit his ball, I think, just above the crossbar. And Boopy managed a great save. You see the rotations from FCS. They're smart play. Ryan taking his time to attack there. He's looking for that redirection. Hits it back post. It was a slow shot. Easy save for Boopy. FCS, I think, making some good decisions as this game has gone on. Making some adjustments. Not over committing or even under committing. I think it's a good balance between aggression and, uh, and respect for their opponent. Here comes Shark. Jumped up forward at midfield. Blank, stuck in no man's land. Flat footed. Now Ryan has an attempt at the near post! It's 2-0, two goals for Ryan. FCS on match point here. 
with three minutes to go. But uh, we've seen how leads can change in this set. So can the Crimson Cats mount a comeback? Or will the Stars be able to hold on to their lead and defend it? I think FCS missing a chance there to send the ball back further towards the Crimson Cats. Is under the goal. Shark Volt here. He's got an open end. It's it's up off the wall. Oh! That was a self setup right there. The equivalent of a, of a backboard pass to yourself for an alley oop. And it was just inches away from, from greatness. Probably done that many times in practice mode before. Disappointed he couldn't get that twitch clip for this one. Oh man, Razor looks out there. This is a full field dribble. Oh, oh. Razor almost finished it up. Now Shark will turn. Hits it over blank. And the stars are blanking the Crimson Cats in this game three. It's 3 0. This is the biggest lead we've seen in this set so far. Could it be that the stars are saving the best for last year to close out this match? Shark Wolves, kickoff win! It's 4-0! Extending the biggest lead of the match even further. Oh man, beat out Blank there. On goals two, or excuse me, on goals three and four. Let's see if FCS can protect their shutout. Or perhaps run up the score some more. Or if the Crimson Cats can really do something special. They've got some style and their flair on their team. But players such as Quinny, just as I was saying that, he gets his team on the score sheet for the first time in this game three. Three minutes to go. And we've uh, we've seen the goals fly in this set. It's been a, a goal heavy set for both sides. It's only in this one that seems FCS started to run away with it. There's Razor. Hits it off of the crossbar. Ryan gets that follow-up. Now with Quinny on the dribble. Hits it far ahead of him. Shark Bolts hits it back post. Now he hits it again. Just underneath the crossbar. Out of reach for Boopy. And the four-goal lead is restored. Crimson Cats are going to have to get four goals at least in less than two minutes here. Is that too much to ask from them? They almost had a quick one right there. Razor passes it to himself. Would have been a great clip there. Comes blank at midfield. Ryan there was stuck grounded. Thankfully for him, Razor comes flying through. Good communication from FCS there. Ryan now up, up the right flank. Tries to with the Shark Wolves. You love to see the chemistry between the Stars players right here. You can see Quinny there stuck in reverse. And then was actually bumped by Shark Wolves. I didn't notice live. So a uh, good physical play and a finish there from Shark. Razor makes it 7-1. Uh-oh. It's the it's the notorious score from that 2014 World Cup semifinal. And I'm not talking about when Argentina played the Netherlands. I'm talking about when Brazil played Ger played Germany in the Maracanã. Ryan here. Changing that scoreline to 8-1 now. And, uh, the rest of this game 
Seems to be just a formality now. FCS will move to four and one. Good bounce back from uh, from a loss there to the Crusader Esports three. Some really promising moments for FCS. And as the game went on, you saw a little bit more of, of that kind of stuff from Razor, the air dribbles. But I think most of all, most important of all, we saw some great combination play. And uh, evidently, some great communication from FCS. Jordan Fultz here with a smart finish of the back post, grounded his shot. And uh, the keeper in net certainly had a chance to get on it. But I think Shark Bolt's placement was, was ideal for that situation. Wow, you look at this game, you would not think that uh, these two teams went to a buzzer beater goal in game one and an overtime golden goal in game two. Set that has been so tight uh, for it to end like this. Really surprising and uh, absolutely dominant for FCS in game three. Finishing out this set, this play versus match of the week with class in front of that audience. Uh-oh, not, not much class there. <laughs> that clears here. And Ryan will hit the ball into the ground and FCS will take the set over the Crimson Cats. 3-0. They will move to four and one. Crimson Cats fall to three and two. Well, folks, uh, it's been a thrilling contest. Thank you for watching. I've been Jeffrey Swindoll. We have been the FCS Stars and Stripes. So long. Thank you for watching.